we've just seen the magpie swoop another rider. How are you feeling, Sheree? I'm really scared. <laughs> really scared. You've got your protection. Sure, yeah. Just swooped on. Just, they just swooped as a baby one. Now there's a big but one now out there in the tree. But now we can see the big mum right there. So I'm pretty scared. <laughs> now we've got your umbrella for safety. Yeah. And we've got the big Bunnings one as well for our safety, the cameraman. <laughs> so this is the original, just the your, your normal everyday helmet. Oh, here we go. <laughs> If you look at them directly, they won't swoop you because they feel intimidated. They'll only do it when your back's turned. Yeah, it says something in here about that too, but I don't know how old this book is, so maybe we should look on the internet. Oh yeah, we'll go over to Kate and Stop there. It says that they prefer to wait until the predator is not looking. So maybe like the eyes on the back of the head or even sunglasses could be a good idea. And it says it only swoops during breeding season. So we have to get these um, tips from the National Parks and Wildlife <laughs> Service. It's about um, how to avoid swooping this season. So, so it says, like, one, if swooped by a magpie, stay calm and move out of its territory. Two, get off your bike and walk. And then it says, a flag to your bike can, like, deter it a bit as well. And the sunglasses protect your head, face, and eyes. Opening. Um, an umbrella to prevent magpies from swooping. That would deter it. So we should have um, a, an umbrella on our bike just in case it does attack. It's like a safety tool. Yeah, so yeah. a safety precaution. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. And it also says that when there's more than one person that you're more unlikely to get swooped. So maybe we'll have to do the test in singly. Single farm. To yeah. make it more like a fair test. But it still doesn't say what to do if you have to cross a path with a magpie. Tell us about your design, Sophie. Well, we put our foil on there because we thought the sun would hit the our foil and then hit the uh, magpie's eyes and it wouldn't like it and distract the magpie so the magpie won't sweep with the our foil. All right, let's see how this one goes. Here's your umbrella. Can you hold this in case we need it? Quite a lot of time, so I realised it was a pretty much a failed attempt. 
and we think and that the, the um, out was shiny. But we still think it had a, um, it, something that still deterred it a little yeah. bit. Because we saw the other guy that got swept away more than we did. Yeah, with just the normal help. Well, we think now, because this one failed, that if we add something more, that will scare what the bird away. What do you think you should away. add? Maybe something like up or towards yeah. the back, because it comes from the back. So we're going to be focusing on the back of the helmet. Something that like sticks up that scares the bird away. This is our second design. Um, it proved to work, however, none of us wanted to wear it, so I guess it failed in being visually appealing. So for our next design, we're going to try something similar, but maybe something that everyone will wear, and that's more appealing to the general public. So what do you think you will do differently next time? Um, not have something so noticeable as these um, black fingers that are sticking out, so maybe just some like little eyes. Because apparently, if, from researching, we've noticed um, that if people put eyes like as if you're looking at the magpie, that de um, like it doesn't deters the magpie.